Well, whatever. Uh, we're gonna assume that this mic is working. I've got everything I need right now. So I was gonna head out here and build a sandbox. The downside is that wheelbarrow that I was using to move stuff the other day is gone. I think this is this is gonna be the location where we're gonna put everything here. And uh, I don't know. It's obviously on a slope. Well, you probably can't tell on the camera, but it's on a slope. And that means that I'm gonna have to build up, I think, this back edge a little bit more. Should be fine. I'm also tempted to just, just leave it on a slope, you know what I mean? Like it's a, it's a sandbox. Not that big of a deal. Nothing going on in this corner of the yard, so I'm gonna put this on a time lapse and see how it looks. I really want to fly the drone while we drive around town, but we need this battery to charge up. And this one's only got like, I think one, and then this one's got one or two. But this thing, I, I wish the batteries were a little bit longer. It'll fly for like 10, 15 minutes. It always seems like I get a couple shots and it's, it's just never quite enough. Well, here I am an hour later. Went over to Tom and Hannah's, get a wheelbarrow. While we were there, decided to invite them over for dinner. Picked up a brisket. Dropped off the rotor tiller. Now gotta get a fire going so we can get that brisket going because brisket, as we all know, most meats, I would say almost all meats. If you're cooking them, you know, around that 225 range. It takes an hour per pound. It's just, it's 100% like when you're cooking a ham. It takes, when you cook a, a when I'm saying like a pork butt. So when you were cooking pork butt, it takes a pound or an hour per pound. Not trying to rush anything. I do have some hickory chunks. I am sad because the nice part about living in North Carolina was that there was hardwood pretty much all over the place. And there were, you know, you could just go out into the woods, find yourself a chunk of hickory and, and cook on it. The other thing too is like you can cook straight, uh, Actually want to move this up. You can cook without charcoal, you can cook with just hardwood. So what you do is you just burn things down a little bit. Oh, there we go. It'll be so much better.
Well, it may not be the right size, and I don't care, because it's not my wheelbarrow, it's Tom's. So, I'm just gonna go with what I got. We're gonna tighten this sucker down, and we're gonna hope that Tom's wheelbarrow does not fall apart in the middle of me trying to move sand with it. Real question, is that a 7 16 I don't think it's half inch. Look at that. Get it tightened down here. Another half inch on the other side. Holy mackerel, look at that. And ain't going anywhere. Now, is that much of a support? I have no clue. Next step, these tires are not even remotely close to inflated. <sighs> Spend more time on maintenance than actually hauling sand with Tom's wheelbarrow here. So, next step, let's uh, let's go get these uh, these here tires up to their uh, recommended pressure. All right, so here we go. Got our brisket here. Get this on the grill. So right now we are running about 275. That is right where we want it. Die on there. We're gonna start our cook. It's about 1:30 right now. I like what temp we got going on there. And we're just gonna let that uh, let that roll for a little bit, and then I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna go. Uh, move some sand, get things going. Man, done with that. So, I don't know how many wheelbarrow loads that was. Still got a ton of sand over here. The other thing I was looking at, it is shocking to me. <laughs> We've planted the garden, you can see right here, things are coming up. However, thistles like crazy are coming up in Thank you. 
tried to use that lav mic earlier and I think, so this is the lav mic, okay? I think what was occurring is that uh, it's dead. So let's see here. I think this is USB-C. Get her plugged in. Yep, there we go. See, looks like she's charging now. But it would work for a while and then the audio would just cut out, which is stupid. Especially when you're trying to, <laughs> trying to record you doing things and talking about it. So right now I have, we sprayed yesterday, herbicide on all the thistles, any broadleaf in this lawn. I've had enough of it. And quite frankly, there, there's, I mean, like all of this whole area, there's a ton of it. Sprayed for mosquitoes, let that dry. Run a little irrigation now. I know it looks green, but if your, your lawn basically wants one to two inches of rain per week. A grass blade is made up of like, it's just like humans. We're made up of, of a ton of water, you know? So here's, here's my solution for my thistle patch these gloves and I am just shocked by the number of thistles that are just exploding out of the ground here so this lets me go in oh that's not good I was hoping that these would come out by the roots nope well on the bright side I can trim them off and give everything else a fighting chance? I don't really know. I guess my other option is to, I literally was thinking about this yesterday, paint these with glyphosate or Roundup. These are just brutal. I think they're Canadian thistle too, and I'm, they're just everywhere in the world around here. So, okay, I'm gonna take my gloves and kind of weed this out. You can see the whole way down. The mess. Here's my first line of something's coming up, but see corn's coming up. I mean, the rest of it is gonna it's gonna be a little bit more evident once things start coming up. I've got flowers right down this far line here. Those are all coming up. You'll be able to see everything. So, all right, well, that's my project for this afternoon.